Oh, and I never told you guys, the title screen is a remix of the Underwater 3 from Super Mario Bros. 1. Hey everybody, it's CloneCollex999, I've washed my hands, and they're nice and moist, and I'm ready to go. Welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. 2. In the last episode, we did World 6 as Luigi, and in this episode, we're going to do World 7 as our friend Toad. Now, first thing you're going to notice, this world actually only has uh, two stages, not three, like the other worlds do. Uh... Yeah, and as you know, if this game did have eight worlds, then I would do the first four as the Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, and then the last four as Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach. But since this level, this game only has seven worlds, and the last world has only two uh, stages to it, I think if I did uh, seven one as Toad and then uh, seven two as Peach, that would be the best way to evenly distribute the screen time. Uh, now then, um. We have uh, elbow tosses and bombs. Uh, we have a power block right here, um, which we want to use um, right here to get rid of this ninja and uh, bombs. And in here is the magic potion. Ouch, jeez. Because right here is where the mushroom is. Can't pause in the subspace for some reason. Sitting here playing this game. Uh, Hanging out with you guys, it's like pouring rain outside right now. Uh, Shy Guy Pot right here. Now you head in here, this isn't where you're supposed to go, but I think it's this one. Yeah, Potion right here. And Mushroom right here. Find it odd that you can, you can uh, take the Pow Blocks through Subspace, but not the Mushroom Blocks. It, mushroom blocks? Jeez, did you hear my voice crack there? Actually, wait, sorry about that. Um, I should have uh, gotten there a little bit quicker. Dang, slow down. What you want to do is, when you go through this door, um, you want to quickly hop up here and you want to get on this albatross. And just let it carry you across. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, right here, rockets. I don't want to make another Team Rocket joke. Cause even in like the Pokemon shorts, they still appeared in every episode. Like some snippets. Uh. Like oh come on, that was so cheap right there. Grab your stupid cherries and the star man that you can't get. And wow, nice Nintendo. Put a pink, pink shy guy there. Okay, so right here you want to wait for the ninja to uh, make its move. Um, want to get up here so it'll jump over you, and the, um, and there you go. How did that... Okay, seriously. Wow, that's a great start. What is it? What is it with the snippets falling down the cloud? Even though I'm clearly throwing them on top of the cloud, and I, 
let those guys disappear. I'll let them fall. I'll let them be fall, guys. Oh, man. I should play that game. Sounds like a stupid game that I wouldn't enjoy, but... I don't know, it looks okay. Really... Stop with the cheap shots! Okay, that wasn't really a cheap shot, but still. I... I should not have died to you. I think we got plenty of lives. Like, I really don't think the final boss is that hard. I want to kill the, as many of these guys as I can, though. Still a good idea to have as many as possible. What is it with the characters in this game not doing the commands I tell them to do? Oh, that was close. Okay. Want to wait for this guy to be uh, a little bit away from you and then pick it up. Oh, yeah, for Toad, you need to have two uh, mushroom blocks up there. There you go. We're almost done. Yeah, you listen really close and you can't hear a little squeak from when your character gets hurt. Alright, now we're going to switch to Peach because it was World 7-2, the final level in the game. Well, final stage in the game, I guess. Well, I guess technically the level is correct. And, wow, great start. That is a great start, am I right, guys? I got nine lives to burn through this. If I burn through all of them, I'm going to be pretty damn upset. There you go. Uh, there's a ninja up there. If you can want to bring out a snippet over. Here we've got conveyor belts. Uh, watch out for the shy guys. I, what? Just die. There we go. You can. Alright, you got bombs right here. Uh, I think you're supposed to go down that, uh... I think you're supposed to go down that, um... That, that thing right there, but if you want to get the first mushroom... Well, you can go up, go up this way alternatively, but if, if you want to go to the, get the first mushroom, you want to go up here. Alright, this should be fun. Uh, stop too early. 
don't want to be dying on the regular enemies, though. But then again, I feel like the final boss isn't really hard. I think it's just getting to him that's a little bit challenging. All right, here we go, we're outside again. Now you wanna just fall to the side like this when you get down here, um, watch out for the pan series, and then just head down this ladder. Here there should be a potion. And here is a mushroom. Uh, you can get the coins if you want, but it doesn't really matter considering it's the last stage. Not really, there's no like bonus stages either. What do we have in here? A bomb. Okay. Uh, get up here before the uh, tweeters go off screen. The tweeters, like, seem to go move a little bit slower than they did in Dream Factory. Because I would recommend you take care of this um, pants here so it doesn't become an issue later. And by later, I mean, like, a few seconds later. Head up here. You can go up here if you want to get the, if you want to get to the final boss. Uh, like, uh, but I'm just gonna head down here and go back and go through that other area from that room we were in before. And I'm really being un I'm being very unspecific with my speech today. Because that's where the second mushroom is. And normally there's a pants here, thank god it's not. And we got an area with sparks here, and also there are some cherries here if you want to pick them up. Personally, I don't really think I need them, but if you want them, you can get them. Had a star man actually this area would be a bit more breezy given given the fact that you're you know a mushroom but anyways in here there are no enemies in here thank goodness because there are is a bomb no i would have been really upset if i died right there because i didn't jump and it bounced right off okay whatever door mushroom your character blinks a lot i just realized like whenever you're in front of something that's also like I guess a sprite, your character just, like you can, oh actually it's, I guess it's, oh, eh, never mind, I probably don't know what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to be rushing a bit more, I really shouldn't be. Oh. We'll jump up here when they're both on the same side. A lot of cherries you can get here, don't think you really need them. Okay, you have a shy guy right here. Now if you're playing as a... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. If you're playing, uh, um, what, if you're playing as, a uh, Toad or Peach, I would recommend you use this Shy Guy as your sacrifice. And, uh, take care of this, um, I said, take care of this, okay, it worked. Take care of that spark up there, because if you're, because you can't really jump up here too easily without doing a duck jump. If you're, if you're Toad or Peach. Especially Toad. <laughs> and 
wow, those uh, all those conveyor belts really kind of mess with your eyes. You gotta sniff it right here. I just do this. Now, uh, we have another conveyor belt here, and there's also a red birdo. Now, obviously, you're supposed to fight it, but if you uh, get in here and just kind of duck in the right place, um, don't get too close to the wall, she'll kind of just step over you, and you can get through here without having to uh, fight her. Something might call that cheap, but you've seen this that fight like plenty of times already. It's best just to conserve your health, even though, like I said, the final boss isn't really hard. Head in here. Oh, jeez. Uh, this one you actually have to fight. Uh, you see it's got the key in it. So first you gotta deal with Birdo, then you gotta deal with Fanto. And there we go. Last time we're ever gonna see Birdo. Get through the door before Fanto gets us. One thing Dream Factory has over, uh, this, has over this game. Um... Take out the spark. Sorry about that, my alarm went off. Um, I actually have to, I'm this is actually when I'm supposed to go to work, but uh, like I said, it got called off from it. Um, let's head through here. We got eight lives. I think we'll be, we'll be just fine doing this. Pick up this mushroom block and uh, take it over here. And pick this up. All right, let's go through. But wait, the mask gate is attacking us. Yeah, um, this is the only time in the game, like, this is like a mini-boss before the final boss. We have, uh, a mass gate that you just want to throw the mushroom blocks at. And then, it will let you through. Uh, be sure not to leave it on the tender for too long, otherwise, um, it will, uh, close back up and you'll have to do the three hits again. Because now we head over here, we have... This is Wart, the final boss of, of Super Mario Bros. 2. What he's gonna do is he's gonna spit these bubbles out, and you get, and you want to uh, throw these vegetables at him when his mouth is open. Keep in mind, though, um, his bubbles will um, destroy the vegetables, um, regardless if they're in the air or in your hand or whatever. And uh, in Dream Factory, he actually took four hits to defeat, but in this game, he only takes he actually takes six. So up the difficulty a little bit, but then again, he's not hard at all. Like, I've beaten him plenty of times without getting hit. I should do a challenge of this game. Try to beat the whole game without taking any damage. You know what? That's actually kind of a challenge I think I should do for um, some games where you have health. Where the, where the challenge is, don't touch anything. Where if you make one mistake, take touch anything that is harmful to you. Game over.
Yep, this entire game was just a dream Mario was having. Which is one thing I like about Dream Factory a little bit better. It's just the fact that that was actually something that was happening and not just the dream the character was having. Uh, here you have a roll call of all the characters and all the enemies. Uh, um, fun fact, the credits music are actually... Um, uh, the title screen music for Dream Factory, Heart Pounding Panic. Um, here it's actually going to have, uh, Ostro and Birdo's names flipped. Uh, I think, uh, it's actually Ostro and Birdo, um, the way I've been saying it is LP. Um, what was another thing I was gonna say? Wow, I had it and I lost it, well... On the topic of dreams, actually, I, uh, I, um, yeah, see, that's actually, this is actually wrong right here. The, the top is Ostro, the bottom is Birdo. Um, on the topic of dreams, actually, I've actually had, a uh, a couple different dreams that gave me some story ideas. Um, I got a new idea for an Emily and Celeste story, if you guys have been following that in the Clone Comics Inc. server. Um, it's a fan fiction of, uh, it's Thomas and Friends fan fiction. And, uh, I also thought of, last night I had a dream where, I don't know, it was just, I had a weird, I had a weird dream idea that, uh, was like some kind of like microorganism AI or something like that. I don't know. I had to add on to it. But anyways, guys, that's the end. And Mario was just gonna snore away. I actually do really like this, um, this, uh, really detailed uh, uh, scene of Mario right here. Like, just, just how many frames. Like, whoever did the art, or whoever did the the scene in the credits right here was did a really good job on it. Well, actually, this isn't even the credits. It's just the roll call. Uh, I, I actually wonder if there even are any credits in this game. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I do have one more episode planned for this game. Um... I'm just not going to do it right away, but I do want to let you know I do have another episode planned for this game. Thus, I believe that's going to do it for this LP. This was Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Super on the Nintendo Entertainment System, a mod of Dream Factory Heartbound Nick Panic for the Famicom Disk System, and was later released in Japan as Super Mario USA. And with that, this has been Saucy and AK Clone Clock 999, and I will see you guys in the next game in the Super Mario series. See you guys then.